Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a long time. I haven't uploaded anything, but I'm back again. So today we're going to make a quick and easy recipe. It's going to be a tomato based chicken curry. And then we're going to use boneless chicken for that. There's two chicken breasts that I've chopped up. Here I've got one tin of uh, chopped tomatoes. Five fresh tomatoes that I've chopped finely. I've got about whole head of garlic here that were chopped up just roughly and I've got about five green chilies that I've roughly chopped and a um, stick of no a piece of ginger that I've finely sliced and now we're gonna start cooking in this pan I've got half a cup of oil that's been heating up I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cumin seeds one piece of cinnamon stick one black cardamom and five to six Close. So I'm just gonna add that in there. Cook it for about a minute or so, so they release the spices, release their fragrance, and then we'll add the tomatoes in. I'm gonna add the tin tomato first. And I'm gonna add the fresh tomatoes. Also, the green chilies and the ginger. And I'm also going to add the garlic as well. I'm going to add everything together, give it a good mix. Also, to this, I'm going to add salt now, and then the rest of the spices will go afterwards. So, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt here. I'm gonna add one cup of water now. I'll just put it into this bowl. I'll add the tomato, tin tomato in. I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna let it come to a really good boil. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and put it on a low heat and cook it until all the tomatoes are really cooked down and become into a nice smooth paste. And then we'll continue. The tomatoes are nice and soft, but we've still got some liquid in there. Um, at this time, I'm just going to add the spices to this so they can cook together. I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm going to give it a good mix. I'm going to cook this all down now until all the water has dried up and the oils come out and then I'll show you what See guys, next. the water has dried up and the oils come out. As you can see, there's still some big pieces of garlic in there, but don't worry about that. When we add the chicken and cook them together, that will all get mixed nicely into a nice and smooth masala. So I'm going to cook this on a high heat now until the chicken is nice and soft it will take around about 20 to 25 minutes to properly cook the chicken out and then i'll show you when we're nearly there as you can see the chicken is cooked nicely now it's been about 20 minutes i've been cooking on a high heat and the oil's come out now i'm gonna add a few more ingredients to this one teaspoon of garam masala goes in there the recipe for the garam masala is on my channel just so have a look there I'm also going to add some fresh coriander. I've got about half a cup here, and I'm going to leave some for the garnish later on. Because if you don't like just chicken breast, boneless chicken, then you could always make it with the chicken on the bone. That's totally up to you. Chili and ginger here, and some green chili stuff sliced thinly. That goes in there. I'm going to leave some for the garnish. I'm going to cook this for about a couple of more minutes and then I'm going to add one cup of water in here and then on a low heat with the lid on, cook it for about five minutes and then we'll serve. Quickly show you. I'm just going to add one cup of water in it. it should look something like this. And then I'm going to cook this on a low heat with the lid on for about 5 minutes and then that'll be done. 
guys, this is completely ready now. As you can see, I made a little bit of gravy because if you want to eat it with rice, or chapati, or with naan, you need a bit of gravy with it. So I'm gonna serve this up and I'll show you. I'm just gonna garnish with some ginger and some chili. I'm also gonna put some coriander. It's totally up to you if you don't like all this, you don't need to put it on. There you go, guys. What an easy and simple recipe this is. You should really give it a go, you won't be disappointed. Everybody loves this recipe. It's nice and tangy with no onions. So easy and simple to make. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please give it a like and share and subscribe to my channel. I love this.